Okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, script, the uh, Bezier script at a slightly more advanced level of its development. And in order to do so, I'm going to float this viewer by command clicking on the tab and go full screen on that node graph by mousing over it and pressing the spacebar. And that gives us a very nice way of reviewing what we've got. Let's just uh, get rid of that junk there as well. So first off, what did we do? We took that shape and this shape and combined it. We, we inverted that shape and we combined those two sets of shapes with a merge which had been set to minimum. Okay. Now the Uh, hair was a bit of a problem. We could deal with that by maybe blurring the mask a bit or going in in a, a lot of detail. I tried something a little bit more ambitious. I got a noise there and I merged the two shapes or the, the two nodes, streams with a hard light okay, and that just deckled up the edge a bit okay, sort of simulated hair. Now I selectively combined that with the rest so I could have just that area around there outside the hair nice and busy then what? Oops. Let's move that over there and go full screen on that. Okay, so there were two color adjustments here. The first was a luminance. Let's just go to the luminance channel, press Y. And obviously what we have going here there's too much darkness in the shadows. So the way we dealt with that was to use a grade. Lots of sliders. Don't just whack them around um, intuitively. Try and get a systematic understanding of what uh, of what it is that they're doing. And in this instance a white point and a gamma uh, move were the ones I, I used. Um, yeah, okay, so so that lifted the darks a little bit. Let's get out of luminance. Uh, you can see also that the figure is quite, uh, the figures are quite red, and I took away that red with a color lookup. And uh, finally, I transformed with a little bit of a scale. Okay, so that's the completed script.